Hi there, I'm Joshua Finn from j and Aerospace, and today I am wearing a slightly different hat in all of that because we're going to try to build a pylon racing bird here. This is a foam board build. This will be my first time doing a video where I've laser cut my own plane. Um, this is the prototype, like the alpha, alpha release, not even, you know, we've not built one of these before. So, I'm videoing this in hopes that this will come out halfway decently. So, uh, we've got hot glue gun that is hot and ready to go. And we're going to start by building out the wing. And then we'll kind of proceed onward from there. And actually, I'm going to come back after I've separated the wing out. Alright, so... Excuse some of the noise in the background, it never ceases around here. So, we've got our wing here. We do want to go ahead and uh, do our typical thing for uh, the spar region on the airplane. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to do a bunch of prep on the, uh, on the wing here before we actually start gluing things up. So that gives you uh, that part. Um, you can go ahead and it does take a little prep work. Excuse me one second. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we'll get uh, this leading edge break cut through here. And so you treat this the same way you do any other flight test style build. Pop this and we'll bevel it top and bottom. Tell I don't normally build from foam board, and so my bevel cuts are pretty terrible. So that's got one, and then we'll do the other. do about two of these bevel cuts per year or so. That should explain a lot to you. Now before we um, close up this wing, we're going to want to go ahead and break the ailerons free and we want to bevel them. These are relatively small ailerons. We're going to use relatively small travel on them. The reason for that is it's just a, a matter of um, keeping this thing controllable at high speeds. So we've got about 30 degrees down travel, which is gracious plenty on that. Uh, so we'll come back. I don't know why I'm doing this this way. Here we go. And you guys can probably barely see what's going on, which is for the best because my son is running around. Both of them. That. that also has about 30 degrees down travel, so we're good to go. Now we can just kind of pre-crease our wing here, make sure everything's good there. Also, we'll kind of do a tentative close up here, if you will. And everything's looking good, right? So all we have to do now is install our spar, and then we can close up the wing.
all the usual rules apply here to making sure that everything is dry enough or cooled enough to, to do it. Okay, so we've got this uh, foam spar in here, and then I'm going to take my carbon spar, I'm going to lay it in like so. This is not full length, it doesn't need to be, you just want to center it up in here. And the purpose of this is quite literally to keep your airplane wing spar from exploding in flight. Um, and by the time you're seeing this, there will be flight footage up of exactly what that looks like. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this spar, drop it into my hot glue bath that I've created for it, um, and then once you close up this wing, make sure that you do indeed get glue on top of that as well. And so we're just running glue into all of the relevant places here. Need a new thing of hot glue here. There we go. And you can see I'm actually squirting the glue down into those bins there, and now we're going to come back here, get glue up on the spar, keep it out of my servo pockets though, and then I'm going to squirt more hot glue on top of my carbon spar. And then we'll get this back section afterwards, but for now, what we've got to do is we just have to close up this wing, like so get it all laid out flat, and do the Josh Bixler 1 Mississippi 2 Mississippi, or You Are My Sunshine, or whatever the latest permutation out of that is. And we will come back uh, once all of that has um, cooled off and, and hardened, and we'll continue with wing construction. All we have to do is come back underneath here, and we'll close up this wing and that, uh, that'll be good to go. Got a young in here who wants to show me everything, and normally I appreciate that, but not when I've got hot glue is hot. Mostly closed up there. Yeah, we're closed up, so that's good. Um, and you can seal the edges and all, all the usual stuff. Since this is a prototype, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on that because I'm just going to be building another one of these fairly soon. Um, main thing is you do want to make sure you do this on a flat surface because any warps in this wing are going to um, they're going to give you one one awfully bad day. But there's your your wing for the Speed Demon. There is one remaining part that we'll go ahead and we'll install in this wing. And that is the little center saddle that goes back here. And so you want to center up the apex of that back here. And this serves both as a, kind of a, a fairing and as a seat. Um, uh, sorry, is a, a reinforcing uh, seat on your wing. It just makes it hold together that much better. And if you like, you can still put a, a popsicle stick across here or, or what have you. And now you've got that part in place. And so 
the uh, all the foam parts for your wing are completely done. And I'm just checking mine for warps, and I don't see any, so we uh, we are good to rock and roll. So on to the next part. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do before we move on from the wing is we're going to go ahead and install the control horns. The um, um, servos will do last because we can. So these are just like your typical flight test control horns. You just stick them all the way in there. Um, squirt glue deep down inside. Hopefully some will come out the other side. Um, the main thing is you want these bonded all the way into the upper surface. Get this flat so that they're pressed all the way against the upper surface of the airfoil. That way they're the same um, on both sides so you get equal travel. And then you also get to get hot glue on your nice dining room table. And we'll throw the other one in on this side. some glue in there and that one I'll actually have to clean out a little bit. And there you go. You got full travel on those because they just come up against the uh, um, lower surface of the wing. And there you go. All ready to go. Okay, so we're going to do our build out of the fuselage here. So we're going to run uh, through here so we can split off um, all of the tab areas. And there's going to be one little Kind of unexpected trick here. And that's because we're trying to sink a uh, fairly decent sized servo into the uh, elevator control system. traditional flight test style um, B folds. Right, so these are B folds and so that means you're doing it this side like so. And so we're going to start with the uh, center section here. Uh, be careful, this is a little fragile at this point. Oh, before we do that, let's go ahead and remove this piece of foam right here. So we're going to be up mounting our elevator servo upside down, um, right at this station. So it may be a little challenging at first to extract all the foam out of there, but once it's out, now you get a spot where the servo is going to come in. It's going to sit right there. You don't have to sink the uh, servo lead in there, all that, all that jazz. It'll fit kind of like that. So back up here, this area is kind of fragile until you glue it. So let's fill this area with glue. Here. All good. And it's not completely hardened, but we can go ahead and come in here. Um, since I've popped this loose, we do want to squirt glue up in here. 
and the same around here because this is all you know, coming open. And that's perfectly okay. Just in the event of a uh, hard landing, we don't want any of that to fail. Um, and this is a pylon racing type airplane, so uh, hard landings are quite, quite common. where your biggest rule is, of course, to make sure that you come in wings level every time. And we will go ahead at this point, because it's a convenient time to do so, we'll pop our little NACA duct loose, and we will squirt some glue. Ouch, I'm getting hot glue on me. And don't want that up there, because it looks kind of terrible when you get blue up on the top of it. Same story the other side. You want to attach this uh, or close this NACA duct so that there's enough of an air gap that you're actually letting cooling air down in there because uh, that's going to feed directly to your battery and your speed controller. And you want those to be kept cool during the flight. Especially if you try to fly this airplane on six cells, uh, battery and speed controller do need adequate cooling. Alright, so we're going to do the same procedure back here. don't want get, to get glue in your servo pocket because you're going to need um, that area kind of free for later. And there we go. And also, there is a little bit of a dip on the fuselage right here to clear your wing trailing edge. You want to make sure to press everything down there so this mounts in correctly to clear your, your uh, the top of your wing, or bottom of your wing, I should say. Now I got an area that the uh, glue didn't get in real well. And now, if you've got any gaps along here that haven't really gotten enough glue in them, now's a good time to try to get some of that closed up. Excuse my radio. there because I didn't do a great job on that. Do the same thing over here. Now 
Now I've just got it all over the table, which that's always fun. It does peel up eventually. Thank goodness. Okay, so having done that, we'll go ahead and get our elevator in here. Make sure that things freed up on it. Loose. I'm going to bevel it on, um, on this side right here like so. So we're going to bevel the elevator, not the horizontal stab. Make sure we have enough down travel, not quite enough yet. I'm going to set this up to where you can have up to 30 degrees of down travel. You will probably never use more than maybe half of that, but have it there just in case, so I like that. And now we will go ahead, actually we'll wait, we'll install this and then we'll install the, uh, the control horn. So elevator fits in like so. saying the elevator when I mean the horizontal stab. Get the front mount as well. Just get it all glued up so that it stays securely mounted. And the hinge area goes on the top like so, so the elevator is set up like that. And I actually did mean the elevator that time. Press it down so it mounts flat. And again, the um, bevel is down on this side. frame for a lot of that, my apologies. Go ahead and we'll install the control horn like so. Get it all the way down, and there we go. Alright, we'll get back in just a moment. Alright, so we've got a servo here. Let's see, we'll power everything up here. And get ourselves an elevator servo that's happy. We'll stick a control horn on it like this. And that's up, that's down. Whatever reason, I have more down travel than I have up travel. I'm not entirely sure about all that. Uh, we'll be right back. I know what that is. Okay, so we're back. We've got correct amounts of travel. So now all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, actually before that, count three holes out. You want to leave the third hole on this uh, intact. is screw this guy in well maybe there we go screws finally starting to take and I'm going to unplug this servo so that I can easily get in here to install it like so that gives me plenty of space for that servo Put it like that. Now, squirt a little bit of glue down there in the hole for that servo. A little bit along the sides because we do not want it coming out because we can't exactly get to it. Plus, elevator servo on one of these at speed is typically catastrophic. And there we go. And that servo lead is long enough I can easily get to it, so I don't need an extension. Alright, 
we will be right back with uh, control. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.